This is the first lecture on programming in C++. Okay, so we will learn here programming in C++. C++ is a fascinating language and it's an introduction to object-oriented programming. Okay, so these are some of the words, the hot words that are there, object-oriented programming. Okay, and if you want to learn this, then you need to learn C++, okay? This is the most basic language that you need, okay? Object-oriented programming. So, C++ is derived from, of course, it's C. That's why its name is C++. It gives you something extra from C, but it has everything that C has, okay? So, we will try to write our first C++ code and I'm assuming that you are the beginner, okay? So we will write our first Hello World program and see the basics of C++, okay? So if you see here, so whenever you write a C++ code, so you have hash include IO stream, okay? So this is the first line like in C, so you have hash include then so here also you have hash include so io stream and then what happens so this is a pre-processing directive which tells that okay have everything in io stream in your text file then you have the int main so main method is the most important function for a c plus plus code because the execution starts from the main okay so here what happens we have the code braces are there which says that okay the main the body of the method main starts from here and then we have standard c out hello world okay so this seems that okay we are putting something in the console okay that's why c out so output to the console we have two less than less than sign so this is basically it says this is a stream and you output hello world into the console okay so hello world will be the output and then we have a semicolon so semicolon in c++ like in c so it tells that okay there is the end of command so when the compiler is compiling it knows that there is a semicolon it means that command has ended braces indicate that the body has ended return it says that okay the return value it returns int is the function so it returns a zero to the system okay so these are the basics and now what happens is that you write the code so first step is write the code okay then next it is to compile it okay so then you compile the code if you get compilation error okay this will be for beginners this is one of the biggest problem you get compilation errors something is missing in line 3 something is not correct so you have to remove those errors so this is compilation error if you pass it so if you have errors then you go here to write the code again update it modify it again you come to step 2 compile the code if it is error free then what happens third step is linking so linking means you have many object files after compilation so objects file are created okay so the linking link those object files finally you compile and then run the code okay so the executable is created the executable is created which is run okay so here also what happens you might get runtime error okay runtime error so at each step you have to go to the code and correct it okay so runtime error then also you have to go here write the code again with some modifications and then linking errors also you can get okay so these are some of the words if you're beginners you will find it difficult to understand but we will slowly see what are these so this is just for now you at least you understand these words that okay you can get while writing the code in compilation error you can get linking error you can get okay 
so linking error is basically if i'm using some function from some other codes okay some library that might not be correct okay the that might give you linking error runtime error might be there because of memory corruption okay so many things are there so for now even if you understand these words just remember in your mind that okay you have compilation error you have linking error and you have runtime error so these are errors and whenever you get them you go to the source code and correct them so this is the life cycle of a code okay so the life cycle of simple code that you will see okay so now let's start okay so we have our code here and let's try to compile it so for compilation what you do is that we execute we go compile so you see that it's done and compile without any error okay so now what happens we can run it so you saw that okay something came up and went away very fast so this is because some this id so it's not waiting for us to see the output so just we can add get char so this is the problem with this id so get char now whatever is output it will wait there for you to press a key then it will go so that you can read the output okay so now because i wrote something extra in the source code i have to recompile it to have the effect of this line so we have this now i run it again you can see now hello world okay so this hello world is the program output of what you have written here so this is the console the black box okay the black window here and it is so now it has executed this line of code the hello world and now it is waiting at get care so i have this get care means that user needs to press something and press enter to go okay so this is there this is the most basic fundamental piece of code the hello world you can have it in all the languages then what happens now little bit let's analyze the code okay so few things let's write this again and let's try to see real time i will write the code okay i've deleted everything hash include io stream okay then i write main c out hello world again okay so this is the code and now what i do i try to compile it i have written some code i compile it but this is for the beginners you will get some very irritating compilation errors okay so that we were talking about compilation error it's shown here so let's see here in int main so first thing was that we didn't write int main c out undeclared okay so we just said that okay console out for that you write c out and it's undeclared it's saying so the reason we have to see and then expected a right brace at the end of the input okay so a lot of things are missing so what we do again we come to the source code we see what are the problems so first problem was that c out was unidentified so basically c out you have to write it is from the standard namespace so that we have given now and let's see we have corrected one mistake compile it still there is error it says expected right brace at line 5 okay so this is the line 5 and you have to write here a brace okay so that we gave now and let's try to see if it is compiling so it's compiling okay so now this is compilable code but here you should also write int and let's see what happens if we remove the semicolon okay so we remove the semicolon try to compile again in function main expected a semicolon okay before the brace so this gives you very good commands to remove errors from your code okay so we go here okay so now we can see this so line semicolon i give and you might now wonder where is that line of the code being shown so if you see here 
सो लाइन फाइव थर्टी सेवन सो फिफ्थ लाइन एंड थर्टी सेवेंथ कॉलम समथिंग लाइक दैट इट्स शोइंग ओके If I come here, it's now sixth line, column one. So that ID helps you to find the lines. Now I compile it. It's compiling, okay? And we can also write that get care, okay? And now see, so it's compiling, and we run it. So hello world again. So that.